petite glide across the table, kisses the black, and oh so slowly, the black rolls, titters on the edge, and finally drops into the top, right pocket of the billiard table. Damn, he stands, and his mouth twists, in a triumphant, I saw all new, still smile, putting down his cue, he saunters occasionally toward me, all to sled hair, jeans, and white t-shirt. He doesn't look like a CEO. He looks like a bad boy from the wrong side of town. Oligo is so fucking sexy. You're not going to be a sore loser, are you? He murmurs, barely containing his grin. Depends how hard you spank me, I whisper, holding onto my cue for support. He takes my cue and puts it to one side, hooks his finger into the top of my shirt, and pulls me toward him. Well, let's count you. Misty Minors, Mistil. He counts on his long fingers, one making me jealous of my own stuff. Two arguing with me about working, and three waving your delectable derriere. At me for the last twenty minutes. His eyes glow a soft grey with excitement, and leaning down, he rubs his nose against mine. I want you to take your jeans and this very fletching shirt off now. He plants a feather soft kiss on my lips, wanders nonchalantly over to the door, and locks it. When he turns and gazes at me, his eyes are burning. I stand paralyzed, like a complete zombie, my heart pounding. My blood pumping, not actually able to move a muscle. In my mind, all I can think is, this is for him. The thought repeating like a mantra, over and over again. Closest Anastasia, you appear to steal me wearing them. Take them off, or I will do it for you. You do it. I finally find my voice, and it sounds low, and it did. Christian grins. Oh, Miss Dill, it's a dirty job. But I think I can rise to the challenge. You normally rise to most challenges, Mr. Gray. I raise an eyebrow at him, and he smirks. Smirks. Why, Miss Dill? Whatever do you mean? On his way over to me, he poses at a small desk, built into one of the bookshelves. Reaching over, he picks us up a 12-inch ink. Perspex ruler, he holds each end and flexes. 
does it. His eyes not leaving mine. Holy shit, his weapon of choice. My mouth goes dry. Suddenly I'm hot and bothered and damp in all the right places. Only Christian could turn me on with just a look and the flag of a ruler. He slips it into the back pocket of his jeans and ambles toward me. Eyes dark and full of promise. Without saying a word, he drops to his knees in front of me and starts to undo my laces quickly and efficiently, dragging both my converses and socks off. I lean on the side of the PR table so I don't fall, gazing down at him as he undoes my laces. I marvel at the depths of feelings that I have for this man. I love him. He grabs my lips, slips his fingers into the white band of my jeans and undoes the button and zipper. He peers up through his long lashes grinning his most salacious grin as he slowly peels my jeans off. I step out of them, glad that I'm wearing these pretty white lace panties, and he grasps the back of my legs and runs his nose along the apex of my tights. I practically melt. I want to be quiet rough with you, Anna. You'll have to tell me to stop if it's too much. He presses. Oh my, he kisses me there. I moan softly. Safe word, I murmur. No, no safe word. Just tell me to stop, and I'll stop. Understand? He kisses me again, nestling me. Oh, that feels good. He stands up, he stare intense. Answer me, he orders his voice velvet soft. Yes, yes, I understand. I'm puzzled by his insistence. You've been dropping hints and giving me mixed signals all day, Anastasia. He says, you said you were worried. I'd lost my age. I'm not sure what you mean to buy that, and I don't know how serious you were, but we are going to find out. I don't want to go back into the playroom yet, so we can try this now, but if you don't like it, you must promise to tell me. A burning intensity, born of his anxiety, replaces his earlier cockiness. Wow, please don't be anxious, Christian. I'll tell you, no safe word. I reiterate to reassure him. We're lovers, Anastasia. Lovers don't need a safe word. He frowns. Do they? I guess.
the background, doing her floor exercises, a great white smile on her face. I position the white ball. Christian strolls back around the table and stands right behind me as I lean over to take my shot. He places his hand on my right tight and runs his fingers up and down my leg, up to my behind and back again. Lightly stroking me, I'm going to miss if you keep going that. I whisper, closing my eyes and releasing, and relishing the feel of his hands on me. I don't care if you eat or miss, baby. I just wanted to see you. Like this, partially dressed, stretched out on my billiard table. Do you have any idea how hot you look at this moment? I flush, and my inner goddess grabs. A rose between her teeth and starts to tango. Taking a deep breath, I try to ignore him and line up my shot. It's impossible. He caresses my behind over and over again. Top left, I murmur. Then he hits a white ball. He smacks me out, squarely on my backside. It's so unexpected, I help. The white hits the black, which bounces off the cushion, wide up the pocket. Christian caresses my behind again. Oh, I think you need to try that again. He whispers, you should concentrate, Anastasia. I'm panting now, excited by this game. He strolls to the end of the table, sets up the black ball again, then runs the white ball back down to me. He looks so carnal, dark-eyed with a lascivious, lascivious smile. How could I ever resist him? I catch the ball and line it up, ready to strike again. He admonishes. Just wait. Oh, he just loves prolonging the agony. He wanders back and stands behind me again. I close my eyes once more as he strokes my left tight. This time, then my backside again. Day came, he presses. I can't help my moan, moan, as desire twists and turns inside me. And I try, really try, to think about where I should the black with the white. I shift slightly to my right and he follows me. I bend over the table once more using every last vestige.
inner strength, which has diminished considerably since I know what will happen once I strike the white ball. I take aim and hit the white again. Christian smacks me once more. Hard. Oh, I miss again. Oh no, I groin. Once more, baby. And if you miss this time, I'm really going to let you have it. What? Have what? He sets up the black ball. Once more and walks, a jangly slow, back to me until he is standing behind me, caressing my backside once more. You can do it, he coaxes. Oh, not when you're distracting me like this. I push my behind back against his hand and he smacks me lightly. Eager, me still, he murmurs. Yes, I want you. Well, let's get right of this. He gently slides my panties down my tights and off. I can see what he does with them, but he leaves me feeling exposed as he plants a soft kiss on each cheek. Takes a shot, baby. I want to whimper. This is so not going to happen. I know I am going to miss. I line up as a white, eat it, and in my impatience, miss the black completely. I wait for the blow, but it doesn't come. Instead, he leans right over me, flattening me against the table, takes the cue out of my hand and rolls it to the side cushion. I feel him hard against my backside. You missed, he says softly in my ear. My cheek is pressed against the base. Put your hands flat on the table. I do as he says. Good. I'm going to spank you now. And next time, maybe you won't. He shifts so. He's standing to my left side. His erection against my hip. I groan. And my heart leaps into my mouth. My breath comes in short pants and hot, heavy excitement courses through my veins. Gently, he caresses my behind and curls his other hand around the nap of my neck. His fingers tightening around my hair at the nap, nape. His elbow at my back, holding me down. I am completely helpless. Open your legs, he murmurs, and for a moment he hesitates. And he smacks me hard with the ruler. The noise is harsher than the sting. 
and he takes me by surprise. I gasp, and he hits me again. Legs, he orders. I open my legs, panting. A roller strikes again. Oh, it stings, but it's crack across my skin. Sounds worse than it feels. I close my eyes and absorb the pain. It's not too bad, and Christian's breathing becomes harsher. He hits me again and again, and I'm I am not sure how many more strokes I can bear. Beer. But hearing him, knowing how turned on he is, feeds my arousal, arousal, and my willingness to continue. I am crossing the dark side, a place in my psyche. I don't know well, but I've visited before in the playroom with the talis. The ruler strikes once more, and I mourn loudly, and the Christian groans his response. again, and once more, order this time, and I wins. Stop, the word is out of my mouth, before I'm even aware that I've said it. Christian drops the ruler immediately and releases me. Enough, he whispers. Yes, I want to fuck you now, he says, his voice strained. Yes, I murmur with longing. He undoes his fly, and I lie panting on the table. Knowing that is going to be rough. I marvel once more at how I have managed and yes, enjoyed what is done to me up to this point. It's so dark, but so him. He is a stew finger inside me and move them in a circular motion. The feeling is exquite sight. Closing my eyes, I reveal in the sensation. I hear the telltale rip of foil. Then is standing behind me between my legs, pushing them wider, slowly he sinks into me, filing me, I hear his groan of pure pleasure, and it tires my soul, he grabs my hips, firmly, he says out of me again, and this time slams back into me, causing me to cry out. He steals for a moment again. He asks us softly, Yes, I'm fine. Lose yourself. Take me with you, I murmur, breathlessly. He moans low in 